Hey, what's up guys? We got another uh, point of view video. We're gonna knock out this property here. We got Mark hitting up that uh, sidewalk with an edge. This is a uh, bi-weekly. I really don't have a lot of grass, mostly weeds. Pretty much nothing but weeds, but uh, I think it's the back is going to be the problem. We're going to try to get the Skag V-Ride back here. Now I was trying to check out the ground, make sure it's not too soggy. I don't want to get stuck or leave ruts. I think this might be the uh, problem area here. I don't know. No, it might be a little dry. I think we'll be okay. But we're going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a point of view right along on the V-Ride. Skag V-Ride 32. Brand new mower. Love it. Stand on. This definitely gets overgrown like really quick, really quick. And we actually knocked it down pretty low than uh, last time we came in mode. That's pretty, I mean, look at that. Of course, we'll knock out the alley, which we'll just use the uh, weed eater to do the alley. But I don't know. I'm afraid I'm gonna get, what do y'all guys think about that? I think I'll get stuck. So we're gonna have to be uh, super careful and uh, not gun it through here. But we'll see. I guess uh, if we get stuck, we'll catch it on video. So let's go back to the trailer, hook up the GoPro, and uh, enjoy, guys. All right, guys. So this is a about 6,500 square foot property. This is a bi-weekly. As you can see, there's really not much grass in the front yard. I don't know if you guys ever seen these on my past videos. Not sure. But it's really hard to tell, but there is lots of rocks. Um, lots of branches, broken branches on the ground. I'm always uh, kind of nervous, apprehensive to uh, even use a stand-on. Just because... Uh, I mean, they're brand new blades, but it is what it is. Definitely beats push mowing. So far, I'm enjoying the V-Ride. Definitely gets behind or it gets through a lot of my backyard gates, which that was the point of buying the 32 inch. My zero turn I had it was a 34 inch and it, it it got in most of gates but not all of them but this one definitely gets in all of my gates except for one actually there's two of them but the backyards on the other ones are so small it doesn't matter it's I could just do it with the push mower actually sometimes I just you get the weed eater and just start a uh, using the weed eater to to cut down the grass in, in a lot of the backyard uh, properties that I have. But nonetheless, this is the uh, V-Ride guys, and I don't know if you guys are using the Skag or uh, what mowers you guys are using. I know a lot of you in the comments are saying that you own a Skag and y'all guys love it. I'm, like I mentioned before, I've demoed the right mower, stand on, let's see what else, I know I, there was another, oh, I've, I've got on the Gravely, I haven't demoed it on a yard or anything, but I've rode a 36 inch Gravely, I'll make sure we get all the paper out of the way and I just blow it on the other side but you'll probably see me stop and pick it up so we're gonna go ahead and make our cuts our perimeter cut 
I know everybody has their own little system on how to do stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll do a perimeter, sometimes I won't. It just depends how, I, how I'm feeling that day, you know. A lot of times I'll just start from start on one side and then I'll just start doing my uh, my lines without doing a perimeter. And then of course at the end I'll do the perimeter just to kind of erase all the turning turning marks. Yeah, I don't think there's a right way or there's a, there's a wrong way of mowing. As long as at the end of the job, you know, it looks good. Oh, is, am I going to run over there? I don't remember. Oh, no. Okay, I get off it. So what I do with it. I think I just put it on, out on the side. We'll let Mark and Mark take care of it. So this isn't one of my, uh, I guess, best properties. I mean, they're a, they're a wonderful customer. They've been with me for about a few years when, since I started. They actually had another property I was mowing as well. So this little area usually gets swamped and soggy. So I gotta be very careful. Can't tell, but I was going really slow through that corner. this particular yard usually is is super uh, thick it overgrows like really quick like I mentioned this is a bi-weekly yard and uh, there's just there's just so much debris sticks toys dog toys so I was trying to avoid that area right behind me because uh, I would definitely get stuck and also there's no rhyme or reason on why I'm a uh, I'm not mowing like straight lines. Actually, I was trying to avoid shooting all the debris over at Mark. That's what I was doing. I was wondering why I'm kind of going all crazy all over the place. But that's usually how my mind works either way. Right through that area to the left, I was going to let Mark just kind of weed eat that area. Because I would definitely get stuck there. So I'm just trying to stay away from Mark as far as possible. I think at this point, yeah, this place right here is very sketchy. Definitely left some ruts there. You can see how soggy it is. I believe I had the shoot blocker up. It's kind of hard to tell. I think I... I may have, yeah, I, 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 most definitely I had it up, just because the grass was wet. At the time of recording this video, we were having rain every single day, like for what, three weeks maybe, two and a half weeks. So anytime we had a chance to go out there and mow, we went out there and we hustled. We were definitely behind on a lot of our properties, especially our commercial properties. Managers were uh, they were always texting, calling me if I'm going to show up. Y'all going to show up? But we had to wait a couple of days for till we found a. Uh, window of opportunity to go in there and just uh, knock out at least the uh, commercial properties which we did no biggie now now that I have the hustler uh, tri-star like if it does rain I'll rather pull out big business and mow the property especially if they're if they're soggy like this just because it doesn't rut. I mean, you can see the ruts right there in front of me. I think I made those, I'm not sure. Let's see, can y'all tell? I can't tell. I can't really tell, but it was really wet, really soggy. Then you see Mark trying to knock that down with the weed ear. We're using the steel FS. 94 
Mark says he doesn't like that uh, weed eater. He's he's used to the SRM 225 by Echo. I don't know. He was saying that this particular weed eater is too short for him. So I, I really don't haven't noticed if if there's a difference in length. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I always thought that they were just the same size. But I'll tell them all you have to do is just adjust the handle on it. If you would adjust the front handle and move it up towards the motor, it'll give you more length. And this FS94 is a little bit, it is heavier than the SRM225 as well. Here we go, we're done. Look at that puddle. I don't know where that puddle came from. If you notice at the, at the beginning of the video, there wasn't a puddle right where the gate is at. And you'll see whenever I, I do my uh, walk around. It was just weird. I don't know where that water came from. But there it is. And I'll do a little walk around for you guys. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share this video. 80% of y'all guys that watch my video are not subscribed yet, so subscribe. Let's try to grow this channel. Let's go. There you go. So we knocked this out probably like in 15 minutes. Not too bad, right? So we got Mark blowing off the back porch. I already blew the front and uh, let's take a look and see if I did an okay job look at that that's what I was afraid of we left uh, some ruts but you know I couldn't really uh, help it much it was either uh, use a skag or knock it out with a push mower but with a push mower we'd be here uh, a little bit longer so there you go not too bad left a little rut here but it's just a little rut I have Mark blow this but uh, it looks good I think Make it, make it, make it hard. There you go. So there it is. Not too bad, not too bad. We've been getting rain every single day for the past three weeks, which we definitely needed it here in Texas, which is going to make uh, the grass grow. More customers will be calling. Uh oh, that's a big no no. My bad. I left the uh, gate open. But there is no uh, rhyme or reason in my pattern since I was uh, side discharging. My main focus was uh, make sure I don't blow the debris over to Mark. So. go I was just trying my best not to uh, discharge all that crap onto mark so if you notice I was keeping it keeping that discharge or that shoot that right side of the mower away from them I think we did pretty good all right guys please subscribe please like share and uh, hit that notification bell button that way every time I put a video up you guys get the message on your phone or tablet or whatever you use. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.